studying and observing the different types of chemical reactions and their classification. is to perform and observe the different types of chemical reactions using various chemicals. The various reactions are action of water on quick lime, action of heat on ferrous sulfate crystals, action of copper sulfate solution on iron nails and reaction between sodium sulfate and barium chloride solution. These reactions have to be classified into Combination Reaction, Decomposition Reaction, Displacement Reaction and Double Displacement Reaction. The apparatus required are a 250 milliliter beaker, china dish, asbestos sheet, dropper, hard glass test tubes with test tube stand, test tube holder, sand paper, filter paper, a glass rod and a burner. Chemicals required are quick lime, ferrous sulfate crystals, iron nails, copper sulfate solution, sodium sulfate solution, barium chloride solution. Let us begin with the first chemical reaction. Action of water on quick lime. Procedure. Take about 10 grams of quick lime in a clean china dish. Place the china dish on an asbestos sheet. Take some water in a beaker. With the help of a dropper, add some drops of water on quick lime in the dish. What do you observe? Water added to quicklime is converted into steam. Now carefully touch the china dish. The china dish has become hot. There is also a hissing sound produced. Let us see the chemical reaction. Quicklime or calcium oxide reacts with water to form calcium hydroxide. We can thus infer that the reaction between quicklime and water is exothermic in nature. This reaction is an example of a combination reaction. The next reaction is the action of heat on ferrous sulfate crystals. Procedure Take about 10 grams of ferrous sulfate crystals in a clean and dry hard glass test tube. Hold the test tube using a test tube holder. Heat the test tube gently over a burner for about 10 minutes. What do you observe? There is evolution of a gas. Note the smell and color of the gas evolved. The evolved gas is colorless and has a pungent odor. Now, continue heating till the color of the residue in the test tube changes. Place the hot test tube on an asbestos sheet to cool. Note the color of the residue after it has cooled. The light green colored crystals of ferrous sulfate on heating have changed to a red colored residue. Let us note down our observations in the observation table. Inference The light green crystals of ferrous sulfate on heating strongly decompose to give red colored iron, 3 oxide or ferric oxide and a mixture of sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide gases with pungent smell. This is an example of a decomposition reaction. Now let us study the action of copper sulfate solution on iron nails. Procedure Take about 100 milliliters of copper sulfate solution in a beaker. Note its color. It is blue in color. 
take two or three iron nails that are free from rust. First, let us clean them with sandpaper and wash them with water. Note the color of iron nails. They are steel gray color. Place the iron nails in copper sulfate solution for about 15 minutes. Remove the nails from the solution, wash them with water and place them on a filter paper to dry. Do you notice any change in the color of the solution as well as the nails? The color of the solution has faded and nails have become reddish brown in color. Let us note our observations in the observation table. Inference When the steel grey colored nails are placed in the blue colored copper sulfate solution, iron displaces copper from the copper sulfate solution. The nails become reddish brown in color because of deposition of copper on them and the color of the solution fades. This is an example of a displacement reaction. Now let us study the last chemical reaction that is the reaction between sodium sulfate solution and barium chloride solution. Procedure Take about 15 milliliters of sodium sulfate solution in a clean beaker. Note its color and appearance. It is a transparent colorless solution. Now take about 5 to 10 milliliters of barium chloride solution in a clean test tube. Note its color and appearance. It is also a transparent colorless solution. Enter both these observations in the observation table. Slowly add barium chloride solution to sodium sulfate solution with constant stirring. Observe the changes. There is white precipitate formed. Note down the observations in the observation table. Inference the solutions of sodium sulfate and barium chloride are transparent and colorless. Sodium sulfate reacts with barium chloride to form a curdy white precipitate of barium sulfate. This is due to the formation of insoluble barium sulfate. This is an example of a double displacement reaction.